Alrighty, hello there. My name is James, and right now we're gonna learn how to solve the ghost cube. Right? But before we can solve it, we need to scramble it. Okay, because it's already in the solved position. So let's do just that. Alrighty, so the ghost cube is now scrambled. And uh, here is some background information about the ghost cube. It is essentially, it's exactly the same thing as a 3x3, except instead of colors, uh, it's emphasized on shapes, right? There are no parodies on the ghost cube. So a lot of people have this misconception there's like parodies. Uh, I'll show you one supposed parody and what it's, how to actually solve it, and uh, instead of memorizing algorithms and stuff, but yeah, okay. So uh, the first step in solving the ghost cube, what, what I always do is uh, I find this piece right here, okay? It looks like a, like a barn, kinda, I mean, you should see it on your ghost cube, it looks like this, okay? It's a center piece, okay? This is gonna be like the white side on the Rubik's cube, and so on this side of the center is gonna be a rectangle. So let's look for a rectangle somewhere. Uh, okay, so uh, for this piece, it's actually gonna be a long rectangle, and here is the long rectangle. On the ghost cube, there are two rectangular pieces. So here's a rectangle, and there's another rectangle. So this one is shorter, you can see. This one is a lot longer and uh, yeah, it's longer, so let's connect it just like that, okay? So there is a little gap, but it's actually pretty flat, okay? Let's look at the other side of this barn shape thing. It's gonna be a, uh, I'm not sure what the name for it is, but it's gonna look like this, okay? It's like a, it's kind of like a boat. I don't know, if you turn it like this, it looks like a boat, but yeah, okay? So let's insert it just like that okay so uh, we should have a nice flush line as you can see it's kind of like the corner of the ghost cube and uh, yeah so there is another similar piece like this which is not gonna fit see how long this is and how short this is right so we want the shorter one now on this side of the on these two sides of the ghost cube are gonna be trapezoids okay so trapezoids we're looking for trapezoids so luckily my ghost cube has a logo on it, which makes it a tiny bit easier to solve like that. See right there, there's uh, the Adam uh, logo. But when you're doing the, the white cross, right? Remember when you solve the regular Rubik's cube, you try to do the white cross. Uh, yeah, so when you're doing the white cross on the ghost cube, make sure the, the trapezoid pieces here only have one sticker, right? because you can actually get into a parody kind of an incorrect state so you don't want to do that so uh, this trapezoid only has one sticker and I'm gonna show you another trapezoid that only has yeah so this is an incorrect trapezoid see it's a trapezoid but there's another tiny little sticker there okay so make sure your trapezoid only has one sticker this one has two okay two particular stickers so let's find another trapezoid that only has one sticker, right? Because this one's incorrect. And it is right here. So let's bring it up. And obviously it's not oriented correctly, so let's orient it correctly. Okay, great. So there it is. So now we have the white cross, okay? Supposedly, I know the whole cube is black and white, but uh, if we were solving a Rubik's cube, this would be the white cross, okay? So two trapezoids one sticker, a long rectangle, and uh, I don't know how to describe this shape, it's like a boat or something. Now, uh, how I solve the ghost cube, I do the corners next, okay? So, uh, when we solve the regular Rubik's cube, we uh, have the white cross facing down, right? Let me just adjust my seat here. And on top of uh, this trapezoid, if you hold it like this, this trapezoid is gonna have a triangle on it, okay? Now, luckily for me, it has a logo on it, so it makes it very easy to remember. Now, uh, yeah, we can just slide it in. And just like that, we have a uh, uh, one corner finished, okay? 
And if yours doesn't have a logo, make sure the triangle has a sticker on top, okay? So it's gonna have a triangle and one sticker on top. That's when you know it's 100% flush, okay? The next triangle, so there's gonna be two triangles right here, okay? One right here and one right here. Uh, make sure, make sure it's the right triangle because this has uh, screwed up a lot of my solves. E even though I've solved the ghost cube many, many times, it still stumbles me today, okay? So look, there are four triangle shaped pieces on this cube, okay? There's four triangle shaped pieces. And uh, if you mix up those two triangles, it's gonna be an incorrect solve. You have a parody and that's not very fun, okay? So uh, this triangle could be right, but it doesn't look like it. This one's definitely not right. This is more like a, a right angle, definitely not right. And there's another triangle right here. So the triangle that goes here is very pointy. I, Because I solved the cube uh, several times, it's very pointy. This one is not as pointy. I see this one looks very pointy. Looks very like a uh, thin kind of. And this one is very, definitely not it. It's like a right angle. So let's just insert it. And uh, that, you know, it feels pretty good, feels flush, but it could be wrong. So uh, keep that in mind, okay, that this triangle could be wrong, even though it feels flush, let, let's hope it's right, okay? So this is what we completed so far. Now let's uh, turn it this way, okay? And now on, the, on these uh, two corners, they're gonna be this kind of shape, a triangle. Just look for this triangle sticker, okay? So uh, let's um, look for it. This is obviously, this is the piece we're looking for, but it's incorrectly, uh, positioned or or uh, rotated right so let's take it out of the bottom and let's put it the right way okay just like this and just like that okay so this is the piece we're looking for it's gonna be a triangle there is one that looks similar like this but this is not a triangle okay so uh, don't insert this piece on accident we want the triangle insert it just like that now we need the exact same thing, but the opposite of that. So let's look for it. This is pretty triangular. Let's see if there's anything else. Uh, that's definitely not right. That's definitely not right. So it has to be this piece, this triangular piece, right? Unfortunately, even if we put it like this or like this, it's not rotated properly. So I'm going to do this kind of short little algorithm to get this piece up, move it away and put it down. Now, if we uh, try again, it's actually gonna work. So there you go, okay? So that is one, I guess you could say, section of the ghost cube solved. As you can see, it uh, looks cool. Now time for the middle layer. We're gonna solve the middle layer, okay? Uh, things get pretty interesting from here. So let's look for this piece right here. This is where I like to start with, okay? So uh, this this centerpiece has a tiny little sticker on it, and we want this sticker to face the top left, okay? So we're gonna rotate the center so it goes top left, okay? Now there is the same piece on the opposite side right here. See, it's on the top left, but it's incorrectly, uh, you know, I'll show you later, okay? But let's start with this piece. <laughs> so how we're gonna do it, we're gonna hold it like this, with the solved side on the left and uh, we want it to we want to rotate it counterclockwise one time right so it goes there so let's do that the algorithm goes like this you move the top twice move the right twice now we're gonna move this counterclockwise once right like we mentioned before and now just undo those first two moves right two times and up two times so now this is still solved, and the uh, and this piece is oriented correctly. Okay, this uh, thingamadoodle, the square, has it on the top left. Okay, now what I like to do, I like to go to the opposite side of this. So we're just gonna flip it, and now we're gonna look at this. Okay, this needs to face the bottom left. Okay, which is a counterclockwise rotation. 
So we're going to do the same exact thing as we did on this side, on this center. So we're going to rotate it twice, right twice, and now we need to rotate it counterclockwise. And now right two times, up two times. And now we rotated it correctly. This is the correct orientation for the center. And now let's look at the next center, okay? For this one, it needs to face bottom right. This tiny little uh, sliver of a sticker needs to face the bottom right, right here, okay? So let's, this needs to go clockwise one time, okay? So let's do the exact same algorithm as before, up two times, right two times, clockwise, because that's how we had to rotate it, and cancel the first two moves, right two times, up two times. Oh, come on, okay, there we go. So now this, uh, center is oriented correctly that's great so think about it like this top left bottom right bottom left and this is gonna be uh, top well, wait a minute this is bottom right so this is gonna be top right okay so this center is gonna be rotated to the top right so this tiny little sticker right here you can see it needs to go uh, rotated twice to the top right Okay, so let's do that. Uh, up two times, right two times. Remember, we have to rotate it twice, so this little sticker is on the top right. Cancel out the first two moves, right two times, and up two times. So now, all the centers have been oriented correctly, okay? And uh, if you know how to solve, like, uh, let's see, a picture cube, right? Uh, like, some Rubik's Cubes, have like pictures on them and you have to solve the picture on each side so yeah um that's how you do it okay so think of top left bottom right bottom left top right okay that's the order you're gonna do it the next step is to fill in the edges okay so let's do that uh and we need to find the right pieces to stick in the edges right so let, let's look at this piece right here, okay? Let's, we're just gonna test it out just by doing this, okay? Does that fit? Obviously not, okay? So let's rotate it and see if it fits on this one. Obviously that doesn't fit. Let's try the next one. Obviously that doesn't fit. And let's try the last one. Okay, that doesn't fit, that is, it's not flush. So now let's try the other side, okay? Okay, that's not flush. That's not flush. That's not flush. So it has to be this. Okay, great. So you're gonna grab one of the edge pieces and you're gonna make sure it fits. See, this is very flush. So this is great, okay? So the algorithm is like this, okay? Uh, if the piece, yeah, have the piece that you need to insert right here in front of you and if it needs to be inserted into the right, then do this algorithm, okay? We're gonna turn the up this way, right, up inverted, uh, turn the right side down, up inverted, and then just stick it in. So we're gonna go like this. Da, do, do. <laughs> okay, that was kind of funny, but there. So again, uh, I'm not gonna be displaying the algorithms on the screen. If you should know how to solve the Rubik's Cube and how to uh, insert edges like this, okay? So it's pretty, I think, self-explanatory. Or you can just uh, watch a YouTube video on how to do the algorithm, how to insert edge pieces, okay? So let's look at another edge piece. This is another edge piece. And let's insert it into the right one, okay? So I already know I'm very familiar with this edge piece. Uh, we're going to insert it right here. Actually, no, that's not the right one. Uh, I think it's right here. Let's see. Okay, right there, okay? So, as you can see, uh, this is very flush on both sides. So, this is the right edge piece. So, this is the algorithm. I'm not going to really, uh, you know, project it on the screen. But you can just copy my hands. And there you go. So, without disturbing the bottom layer, we're fixing the edges, okay? So we did one, two, this one's incorrect, and this one's incorrect, okay? So let's do those two algorithms. 
uh, two edge pieces, okay? So uh, here's another edge piece we need to put and it fits right there perfectly. That's great, I like that. So let's stick it in. So have the, the edge piece you wanna insert in front of you and since it's on the left side, we're gonna do this algorithm. Left, up, left, and insert it. Great, okay, so we have another edge piece inserted. That is amazing. And now we have to do the very last one, okay? So, and that is right, where is it? Ooh, okay, this is a very good uh, step I wanna show you. So, uh, all these uh, edges right here, they actually belong on the top. Whoops. They actually belong on the top layer. Uh, this piece actually needs to be flipped 180 degrees, okay? So in order for us to do that, we're actually gonna insert a piece in here and then reinsert the one we outserted the correct way, okay? I hope that makes sense. But even though this piece does not belong here, that's okay, because we're gonna flip this edge, okay? So let's do it. Okay. And now this is the correct uh, way to do it, see? This is very flush, so let's do it. I'm just gonna insert it, and there you go, okay? This is great. So not only did we just solve the bottom layer, the white side, supposedly, uh, we solved the middle layer, okay? So that's great, pat yourself on the back. Uh, things are only gonna get good from here, okay? So, here is the supposedly yellow side, okay? And uh, what do you do when you on the yellow side? You try to make the yellow cross, okay? So let's do the yellow cross. This piece needs to be facing up, okay? See this pointy piece down here? It needs to be facing up, which it's not, okay? So this is not correctly positioned. This is not correctly positioned because it needs to be facing up as well. You're gonna, this piece right here needs to be facing up. Uh, this piece is correct because the right side is bigger than the left. If you uh, look very closely, you can see the, the right side is longer than the left side. Well, actually, you know what, wait a minute. I don't think that's correct. That's not correct and that's not correct, okay? So on a Rubik's Cube, sometimes you get a position where there are no yellow edges, uh, no yellow edges on the top, right? So pretty much we just have a yellow dot right here. Think about it like that, just a yellow center. So we're gonna do uh, this algorithm in order for us to get a yellow uh, line, okay? So we're gonna do front. Uh, let's see, how are we gonna do it? Okay, fine, front, up, right, up inverted, right inverted, and cancel the front move, okay? So now if we look, this trapezoid is oriented correctly because the right side is bigger, and I believe, yeah, I and this is oriented correctly because the left side is longer than the right, okay? So that's correct. So essentially right now we just have a yellow line, okay? And if, if you've sold the Rubik's Cube many times, you know uh, what algorithm you need to, to do the yellow cross, okay? So pretend we have a yellow line right here. We have a yellow line. And now we're gonna do this algorithm, okay? Front right, up, cancel the right, cancel the up, and then cancel the front, okay? So now all the yellow edge pieces are correctly oriented, okay? So this is correct because the pointy thing is up. This is correct because the pointy thing is up. This is correct, the trapezoid is correct because the right, right side is longer than the left. And the rectangle is correct because the left side is longer than the right. Okay, that's very good. So now, if you're lucky, you're going to see this piece right here is actually flush. It actually fits. And these three are incorrectly positioned, okay? These three are incorrect. 
So what you want to do is, is the soon algorithm, S-U-N-E, the soon. It's a very uh, popular algorithm that like you should know very well if you've solved the Rubik's Cube many times. It goes like this. Have the correct piece facing you, okay? Make sure the correct, see how it's flush here? These are obviously not flush. They're not aligned right, but this one is. So have it facing you and do right, up, right inverted up right two times and put it down great this is very good so now all the edge pieces should be oriented correctly okay if you look at this that's correct this edge is correct this edge is correct and this edge is correct okay now a very important thing to know uh you know i don't think now, if you are not able to do this, it means that either your trapezoid piece, so on the bottom layer, there's a trapezoid, this one is incorrect, or this one, or that your triangles are incorrect, okay? So that, so these four pieces need to be perfectly matched, okay? And that can be hard for a beginner especially, right? But uh, yeah, if this does not work, something's not, uh, working like it's working for me then try making sure that these pieces are correctly flush right but in my case so far everything's going good so after doing the edges now we want to permute the corners okay so i always start with this piece right here i call it the church because i, I was watching another youtube video and they called it the church so now i just call it the church okay <clears throat> And so there are four pieces you need to memorize. There's big triangle, small triangle, a piece with a big sticker, and another piece with a small sticker, okay? So just think about it like this. Big, small, big, small, okay? Big, small, big, small, big, small, big, small, okay? So this, well, you can already see it's very flush. It's perfectly aligned. But we're supposed to have a big triangle right here, a small triangle right here, a, a piece like this with a big sticker and a piece like this with a tiny sticker, okay? So let's do just that, okay? So have this, uh, if you're lucky, one of them will be uh, solved already for you if you have a big triangle. Yeah, so start with the church piece. Uh, have the... And uh, actually, you know what? Let me think about that. If any of the pieces are in the right spot, uh, do this algorithm, okay? And have the correct piece on the right side, on the right side, okay? And we're gonna do this algorithm. Up, right, up, left, up, right, up, left, okay? And I know I'm not doing the correct Rubik's Cube notation, I'm just trying to just show you what you need to do, okay? So let's let's look and see if the pieces have been uh, permuted correctly, okay? Big triangle, that's not a small triangle, that's incorrect. So big triangle, small triangle, big triangle, small triangle, okay? So that obviously did not work, so let's do it one more time, okay? So make sure the correct piece is on the right side. We're going to do up right, up left, up right, up left, okay? And now if you look, uh, this big triangle, let's uh, repeat the pattern again. Big triangle, small triangle, big triangle, small triangle, okay? So that's what I meant about these two. The tiny little sticker here is big and then small. So big, small, big, small, okay? So that's how it goes. And now it's uh, just like a Rubik's Cube. If you know how to solve the last part, we're going to do the that spinning motion, I guess. We're going to do it up, right. And we're just pretty much going to turn it like this. And we're going to keep turning it until it fits, just like that. Actually, no, that's not right. 
I think that's right. <laughs> okay, that seems more flush. Let's rotate the last piece right here, and we need to rotate this correctly, okay? And you can just copy my hands what they're doing. And now the ghost cube is solved, okay? All you have to do is just uh, do the very last part, and there you go. Your ghost cube is now 100% solved. Pat yourself on the back, that's great. If you have any uh, comments or suggestions, or you have a case that I did not talk about, please let me know. I will try to uh, respond and help you out as much as I can. But the biggest part is these four pieces right here. These two triangle pieces, this triangle, this trapezoid, and this triangle, this trapezoid. If you can solve these four correctly every time, the ghost cube is gonna be very, very easy for you, okay? So yeah, there you go. Let me know if uh, my tutorial worked for you because uh, it would mean a lot. And uh, the person who helped me learn how to solve the ghost cube, I'm gonna put a link to his channel in the description. I forgot his uh, YouTube channel name and his name also, but yeah, it's gonna be great. So, and if you wanna see more uh, Rubik's Cube videos and how to solve them, please subscribe. And uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day.